Hello friends, yes, we are coming closer to the volcanic eruption at Sunukur Crater. We will go over more updates as we have more information, more graphs and things to tell. Uh, today there uh, had been uh, an article uh, in the morning newspaper interview with uh, the leading Icelandic um, uh, mad office um, expert on the volcanic eruptions in Iceland, uh, Benedict Ofekson, who is the head of the formation measurements at the Icelandic Mad Office, and we will take a look what he says. I think we have to start preparing for another eruption. Inflation and magma accumulation under Svartsengi continue, and the amount of magma that has accumulated underground is now approaching the amount that emerged in the last eruption. Hence, the Icelandic Met Office has raised the danger level in areas 4 and 6 at Svartsengi. In an interview with the morning newspaper, Ofexon says that it is difficult to determine whether the, an eruption will begin in the coming days or weeks, but that nothing can be ruled out. There is considerable uncertainty about when this is starting to reach its peak, but we have reached a point now where we have to get ready. The chances of a new magma flow and even an eruption are now increasing, but according to Ofexon, the signs are getting weaker with each eruption. If this trend continues, the next eruption may give little warning. If it continues, it could be difficult to see when the warnings go into effect. We have usually seen it with half an hour to three hours notice before eruption occurs. But like the last time, it was very weak seismic activity and little deformation. It doesn't get any better if the weather conditions are bad, as is predicted for this weekend. What we are perhaps most worried about is if this starts in very bad weather, then it will be very difficult to see it because the sensitivity of our system decreases, of success. Adding that there isn't necessarily a chance that an eruption will start immediately, although nothing can be ruled out. Experience has shown us that it can erupt at any time. Sometimes it happens quickly and sometimes it drags on. So there is nothing to do but be ready and expect it any at any and now time. we will take a better look on the graph itself. The land rise is measured in millimeters, so it's tiny, tiny, it's not visible with your eyes on the ground, it's detectable from satellites and GPS systems. So, the first land rise started back in November uh, 2023, and it was very rapid, almost vertical land rise, and it was rather short in relation to time. The land uh, rises that followed after that, the eruptions uh, that followed after that um, had been also rather rapid the next three ones, but as we go uh, more and more in time, the, the land rise graph is getting flatter and flatter, almost horizontal, and it takes longer and longer time for the eruption to take place before the eruption is triggered. So if you measure the distance between the red lines which mark the end and the start of the next eruption, it's taking longer time. On average, three months uh, recently, the last three um, eruptions, it was about three months altogether, uh, waiting time before the eruption take place. So. We are coming close, the latest land rise, as you see here to the right, uh, is still, uh, has not uh, uh, went over, in terms of time, the previous land rise, what, what we would like to see, 
but when it exceeds the width of the last Landerize, ongoing Landerize will exceed uh, three months period, it's definitely an indication that the eruption is likely to take place. So most likely it's mid of February, I would say, judging from the graph, simply um, applying logical thinking, comparing with the previous um, land rises, as you see, three months plus, perhaps even four months, we don't know, but we are com coming close to that point sometime perhaps in first part of February, middle of February, when we will uh, exceed the time of the last uh, land rise, which lasted uh, three months or about same time. Perhaps even much, if it takes four months, uh, what is also possible. So, any time mid-February, perhaps March. Yeah, I would say that. Just looking for, at the land rise graphs, as you see. Uh, as you know, Icelandic authorities are working on raising the wall around the lagoon and geothermal facility and an interesting opinion has been expressed by Daniel Leap, head of Iceland Space Agency regarding this engineering project. He says that I would say that no wall is high enough for a volcanic dike that lies directly under the Blue Lagoon. This is prolonging the inevitable permanent or long-term closing of the Blue Lagoon. Why? No wall prevents dangerous gases from wafting over unless they want to build a bubble over the entire facility. Another question emerges as we are diving into this subject. How many more eruptions will we have at Sunukur Gir Kredero? And volcanologist leading Icelandic volcanologist Thorvaldur Thorderson expressed his opinion on this subject. It was yet back in on November 22nd, right after the start of the last eruption, which lasted for three weeks. He said that he believes that there isn't much left of the volcanic eruptions that have occurred in at Sunukur crater this year. I think that if these eruptions stop at Sunukur crater we will have a break for a good while at least long enough that we don't have to worry about it in our lifetime he counts at most two eruptions left at Sunukur crater row for now and my feeling is that at best we will see maybe one or two more eruptions and then it's over volcanologist Thorvaldur Thordarsson predicts about the future of volcanic activity at Sunukur Crater Row. He believes that the intense activity has occurred at Sunukur Crater Row so far this year will not continue much longer and feels that it is on the verge of the eruptions stopping. Thorvald reasons this by saying that the flow of magma up from a deeper storage chamber and into a shallower one which has caused the land rise in Swartzengi seems to be constantly decreasing, as you can see also from the graphs. It's likely that it is gradually reducing the inflow. If it continues, you end up blocking this flow from the deeper chamber into the shallower one. Then you have blocked the inflow of magma into this erupting system. Then it stops. My feeling is that at the best we will see maybe one or two more eruptions and then it's over. As you know, the eruption, the last eruption uh, at Sunukur Ketero began between Silinga Fatl and Stora Skog Fatl. It was on the November 20th at 11, quarter past 11 in the night. The erupting fissure was three kilometers long and it's the length of the fissure was smaller than the one before when it was seven kilometers long. And that was the seventh eruption to occur in the area. Um, last year, and the tenth since the volcanic uh, since the volcanic season began on Reykjavik Peninsula 
in March 2021. Uh, Thorvaldur says uh, the eruption is similar to the eruptions that preceded it. Uh, was similar, because <laughs> it's over. However, the power of uh, the last eruption is somewhat less than in the previous ones. Otherwise, that was a very similar pattern and behavior to what we have been seeing before. Now, as mentioned earlier, earlier, Thorvaldur believes that this intense volcanic activity will not continue at its current pace for much longer. He believes that perhaps an eruption could occur in a similar location again, um, now in February or even spring, if this goes on for that long. Uh, <clears throat> then signs that the activity that is coming to an end should start to emerge. But there is enough magma in this deep storage chamber, so if this stops there, something else will just take over, possibly eruption of a chrysoic volcano to the east or perhaps eruption of hanged volcano even further east where we had a lot of seismic activi activity recently as well he says that it's unclear when that could happen though it could move to Eldverb, Kreisvik or even out to Reykjanes to the extreme west of the peninsula it doesn't have to happen as soon as this stops it could be months, years or decades before we get the next wave of eruptions on the Reykjanes Peninsula. However, it is better than nothing to be prepared for the next events whenever they come. Thorvaldur says that when the volcanic activity at Sunnukur Crater of Sirius stops, we can expect a break there for a good while. Whether the break will be ten of year, tens of years or hundreds of years, even just 800 years, it's difficult to say. If we look at previous eruptions, some of the vents have started up again later in the eruption period, but then maybe 100, 200 years have passed between them. I think that if this metabolism stops at Sunukur Kratero, we will get a break for a good while, at least long enough that we don't have to worry about it in our lifetime. More updates to come, stay tuned, I wish you all the best, greetings from Iceland and God bless you.
this is police, Icelandic police. All the best to you, God bless.